Yeah. yeah, breaking news is coming to us out of San Bernardino, which is just to the east of Los Angeles, and we're getting word from the fire department in the city of San Bernardino that some 20 people, reports from the fire department of some 20 people having been shot in a mass shooting in San Bernardino. This has just happened. It's not the sort of thing that we would bring you on first reports, except in this case, the first report is from the fire department. This is the location here, South Waterman Avenue in the 100 block. John, 1300. the 1300 block of South Waterman Avenue. So here's all we know about this location. Located here is an, an inland regional center. Remember, this is sort of the inland empire area of Los Angeles uh, to the east and in the sort of uh, the, the high desert, if you will. And this is a, a regional center, uh, a, a business, an office complex. It appears you can see the large parking lot here with Park Center Drive all around it. And according to the fire department, it happened in this, in this area right here, uh, 1400 block of South Waterman Avenue in San Bernardino. Come this way with me and you'll see that our chopper from KTTV Fox 11 uh, in Los Angeles. Uh, Fox 11 is the local owned and operated station for, uh, for Fox television stations there. And they're on the way in the high desert now with their chopper. 31 minutes past the hour in the Los Angeles and San Bernardino County. And one of the frustrating things about this at this moment is we really don't know a lot of context and background. And as I mentioned, it's the kind of thing that under normal circumstances, for instance, if we were just getting tweaked on this. We certainly wouldn't bring it to air. We'd wait to get it confirmed. But this is now confirmed by the San Bernardino Police, the, the, the fire department. The sheriff's department now in San Bernardino County, again, this is to the east of Los Angeles County, in San Bernardino has just confirmed in the last 10 seconds that in fact there is an active shooter situation underway here. It feels like we get this sort of thing once a week these days, doesn't it? We know nothing about the perpetrator. We know nothing about the victims. We know nothing except that the sheriff's department now in San Bernardino says this is an active shooter situation. So if you're familiar with the terms that they've been using of late, uh, they, the, the term active shooter means this is underway. So here's how we know, uh, this is what we know at the moment, the police, the fire department, the county, the city, all, some of them are there and others are on the way uh, because of this report confirmed by the fire department and now the sheriff's office of an active shooter situation. Uh, the early report we got was of 20 victims. That is not to say 20 people have been killed here. We just know of 20 victims. In the early going, that can mean, and most often does mean, that the, the fire department, along with their EMS, have come together to confirm that there are 20 people who need some sort of medical care. It's not to say that 20 people have been shot. 20 victims, normally, under the parlance that they use, would mean that 20 people need assistance in some way. There's a SWAT department standoff. We've just gotten this in the last few seconds. The local SWAT team from uh, either San Bernardino County or San Bernardino City proper is in the middle of a SWAT standoff situation. And that normally means, and we believe it does in this case, that the active shooter is now engaged with the SWAT team. So it's possible that they could be there and trying to talk this person or persons down from committing whatever acts. It can mean that they're involved uh, directly in some sort of conflict between the, between the sheriff's office, uh, from between the SWAT team and the locals. We can't know that information yet. Here's the totality of what we know. The fire department has said that in this area of San Bernardino, and I'll back out to give you a little bit better look at this. This is right in the center of everything off the 215 freeway. And this is the 10 freeway. If you were to take a left here and go all the way back, that would take you down out of the high desert and into Los Angeles. So this is east on the 10 freeway in San Bernardino in the 1400 block of Waterman Avenue. The SWAT department confirms they are in a SWAT situation with some sort of perpetrator. The sheriff's department confirms that there is an active shooter situation. And as I mentioned just a moment ago, the helicopter from our local owned and operated station would serve Los Angeles and the the, the entire valley and of course the high desert which is San Bernardino uh, en route at this moment. We're working this for multiple newsrooms and crews that are working their way to the scene. Trace Gallagher is in our Los Angeles, our West Coast News Hub with updates from there. Trace, what have you learned? The best that we can tell, Shep, is this is happening right now in something called the Inland Regional Center, which we think is an adult disability center. It's not just one building, apparently, because now we're getting word that they're talking about the second building, focusing on the second building in what could be two or three buildings in this complex, and that SWAT teams are now, we're being told, on the second floor, two separate SWAT teams on the second floor of the second building. We're also being told that people are apparently hiding 
inside the building. We do not yet know from authorities on the scene if they have cornered an active shooter or why exactly the SWAT team entered the second building and not the first or maybe the third. We do know they have set up a perimeter around this entire complex. You talked about the highways there. You've got Interstate 15 going east. You've got Interstate 10 that goes, uh, that crisscrosses Interstate 15. One goes out to Las Vegas. One comes back to downtown Los Angeles, about 55 miles east of downtown Los Angeles. So all we know at this point, Shep, is they are saying 20 people involved in this, the capacity of which they were involved, again, is very unclear until authorities actually get on the scene and find out how many victims there were. We don't know if it's one shooter, if it's multiple shooters. We don't know if this is a disgruntled employee or somebody who's associated with this regional center at all. We are working to find out more right now. The early information is that 20 people involved, that we have at least two SWAT teams that are actively inside building number two. Again, we don't know why building number two is the focus, but they are actively inside the second floor of building number two and that people inside that very same building are apparently hiding out. We don't know how many employees might still be inside. We're working to get more information as we confirm for more ship. We'll get back to you on this. Grace, I can show you where building number two is. These, you mentioned the Inland Regional Center uh, with this ring of road around it, South Waterman Avenue here. And this is the, the building number two right here in the center. You mentioned an, an adult care center. That's about all we know about at this moment, though the researchers here on the news deck are working on that. Give you a little perspective of where we're talking about. This is the San Bernardino Public Golf Course right here. And as they pull back just a little bit, this is the International Airport, the San Bernardino International Airport. So it's not far from the center of things. You mentioned the, the 15 freeway. Uh, remember, uh, interstates that are the, the three letter word, uh, three number interstates that begin with an even number go into a city. The 215 freeway is an offshoot of the 15, so that goes into the city. And the 10 freeway would take you that way to Los Angeles and further inland that way, as you mentioned, all the way toward Las Vegas. So this is the spot where this has happened. What we don't know yet is exactly what's happened inside building number two. We too can confirm that people are said to be hiding out inside this facility. It's an active shooter situation, SWAT team in place. The San Bernardino County Sheriff's Office confirms that this is still underway. We know nothing about a motive, no description of a suspect, only that they do confirm that there are victims, that at least 20 people are involved in one way or another. I, I just want to reiterate, that is not to say that we believe at this moment that 20 people have been hurt. We, we, we don't have a way of knowing that yet. We can only tell you what the authorities have told us, and that is that 20 people are involved in one way or another. We know that ambulances and medics have made their way here. We know that the initial call was for an active shooter situation, and we have every reason to believe that that active shooter situation is still underway. We don't know whether the shooter in this case was able to make contact or connect with anybody. In other words, we don't know if anybody has actually been shot, and we certainly don't know the degree of injuries if there have been any, except to say that the authorities have told us that some 20 people are involved. Uh, John Glenn's the head of our information specialist over here. John, have you gotten anything new? No, we're just seeing a hard closure on the street. We're seeing a hard closure on the streets around the area. Just the sheriff's department telling people to stay away. SWAT team standoff underway, and uh, we're just getting a little more on the inland regional center. Yep. And, and for the past 43 years, it's been supportive of employees who are striving daily to serve more than 30,000 individuals with de developmental disabilities in this area. Again, these are the streets that have been shut down. This is South Waterman Avenue and then Park Center Circle, which is not really a city street, more of an access for this particular facility. So all of this is shut down here along South Waterman Avenue. They're shut down again, right in the center of the city, right off the San Bernardino Public Golf Course to the Los Angeles News Hub now where Trace Gallagher has new information. Trace? Yeah. And yet we're using the word because authorities are using this word hostages, Shep, but they are now escorting some 30 hostages out of one of those buildings right now. We don't know exactly why they're using that phrase, meaning is there somebody else still inside with a possible active shooter? But they are using the word hostages who were escorted out, some 30 of them, out of one of these buildings. We know that SWAT teams are inside. We are also being told now of, to, of a car that is now wanted. It is a black GMC that was seen 
in the area. Again, it's unclear. They're in the building. We know SWAT teams are inside the building. We know people are hiding inside the building. They are looking for a car that has left the area. It's unclear if this was the active shooter and there might be a pursuit uh, underway right now or if, in fact, there might have been more than one suspect in this case. We have been told that police on scene now have said there are fatalities. Again, the numbers will vary. We don't want to give you an exact number because we have no idea. We have been told there are fatalities on scene. We don't know how many. We've been told that hostages have been escorted out of the building to safety. 30 is the number they're using right now and that they are in pursuit or at least looking for a black GMC, an SUV that left the building. And again, we don't know exactly what that specific Specifies if that was a person who was part of this, if that yeah. was somebody who was associated with this, still unclear at this time, Shep, but the numbers are beginning to come into us. They are, and the San Bernardino Sheriff has just confirmed to Fox News a total of one to three suspects on scene. Our local station, Fox 11, is now reporting of three gentlemen, three white males, as they have described it, three white males in military-style uniforms. Now, here's why I urge has, that, you be, that we be hesitant on this. Because it's possible, it's entirely possible that those could be SWAT members. So we, we can't confirm that these, that these uh, three people who are inside this building who have been described by local Fox are perpetrators. We can, conf we can confirm to you this, that the local sheriff's department says that there are one to three suspects, that this entire building here, building number two in the center of your screen, has been cordoned off. And that in addition, they believe that there are victims inside and authorities are inside now. Authorities are inside uh, and they're working to contain the situation. Uh, an active shooter situation underway and we'll listen in to just a moment to Fox 11 as they're interviewing witnesses live while we wait for Fox stations to join us up and down the line. And that'll be happening now in just a matter of seconds. Uh, she works with kids with disabilities. And from Fox News World Headquarters in New York, I'm Shepard Smith. This is Breaking News Now.